Pukatapu School is in the final days of a pie fundraiser. And to tell us more about this tasty idea is the school's principal, Sam Hocking. Thanks for joining us, Sam. You're most welcome. Thank you for having me. So what is Pukatapu School fundraising for? Look, uh, we've got a number of uh, things we're trying to get money for at the moment, but a big one for us is a junior playscape. So we want to capture uh, a lovely part of our playground with uh, a new playground, sorry, for our junior children that um, sits on the hillside that provides them uh, the play area that they really need for their age. So that's a big push for it. So how much money has been raised for this playground so far? Well, through the Pi fundraiser, we've got a, a really good chunk of money coming through. So sales at the moment have just topped over uh, 20000 and we'll get a significant portion of that towards the playground. But playgrounds are not cheap, and uh, we're having to go through every particular avenue we can to try and get the, the funding for this playground. With this Pi fundraiser, is there a specific goal in mind, and how far off, off the goal are you? Well, we, we went into it hoping that we might get a few thousand dollars and uh, very quickly the the sales have been taken up uh, and really impressively, to be fair. Um, in the back of our minds, as the, as the number sort of went up and up, we thought, wow, it'd be amazing if sales could get, um, get to $20,000 um, because we'll get a real portion of that. And then when it actually got really close to that, we got really excited. Um, the, the big thing for us, obviously, is that we're in a community that's been hit hard recently by the cyclone. And if we can put some, you know, some, some food in the freezer for people, but also try and make a difference for these kids at our school that have missed out on lots of things last year, being at home due to the cyclone and bits and pieces. Um, yeah, just the chance to do something really cool for them, but also to try and get some money into our school that's not coming from our parents that are already reeling from having you know lost so much through the cyclone. So there's two goals really, one to get some money and then two to try and do something cool for our kids. Hmm. How much longer is this fundraiser going for? Goes to the, I think we've got another two days on our um, fundraiser and then uh, I'm pretty sure on the 7th it finishes, so today and tomorrow. I'm sure there's a lot of people watching who would love to get some pies, uh, not only hey, for themselves. Great. Yeah, they are they are really, have... really good pies. I bet they are. Uh, but, you know, people would love to have a pie and also have a clean conscience when they, they buy it. So yes, how, can, yeah. how can people uh, buy these pies to help support the school and the people? Really, really easily. All you need to do is, is search for our Pukitapu School Facebook page and there is a link on there. Uh, you can click on and you can very easily get some pies through us and we'll make a point of getting them out to you so that you can um, you can enjoy a lovely pie. They can sit in your freezer when you need it right through winter, busy day, come home. There's a pie there that you can chuck in the oven and enjoy very, very easily. Minimal effort. <laughs> My favourite kind of meal. Hey, thank you very yeah. much for taking the time this morning, Sam, and uh, best Not of luck with the fundraiser. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate you um, giving us an opportunity to talk about it. And anything we can do for this Pukitapu community and the children that live within it is well worth doing, I think. So, yeah, very, very appreciate the, the opportunity to talk to you. No worries. Thanks, mate.